This is an example for drawing a circuit using the circuitlab.com editor. And so let's see, I'm going to start out here with a battery. I'm just going to call it battery and maybe I have two double A batteries and I would give me a total of three volts. Okay, then I'm going to take three light bulbs. So as I'm scrolling down here, it took me a while earlier to actually see them. There they are. Okay, there. Another one. Actually, before I take this one here, a little bit too much information here, so maybe I call this lamp one. And I don't need this here. There we go. Okay, and then maybe, let's see. Okay, I just copied and pasted it. And I think I want to draw the one that is in parallel. So I suppose lamp two here. There we go. I really don't have to relabel it that much. There we go. Even if you left that out, that would be okay. Let's see. Then I'm going to take a lead to find that one. Okay, I think I remember I just grabbed this one here and draw it over there, and there it connects. And then, as I point out in my lab manual, if you actually build it, you may want to make sure, and I'm just grabbing this here and pulling it over, you may um, want to leave some more space here and then connect with single leads over here because you need to have some space in between here to measure the current. Maybe I'm going to put in one more thing here. Let's see. There we go. Oh yeah, I wanted to put a switch there. Let's see. Where did it go? I saw it earlier. There it is. There we go. So there's my switch. Double click on that. There we go. In this case, it's in the open position. You can draw it like that, or you can draw it in the closed position. Let's see how it looks like. Oh, that looks cool too. All right, and then I might as well put an M meter in here. So for an M meter, what I would have to do is I would have to break the circuit right here, and that's where I would have to put it in. So now I have to find it. Just a little bit off the screen, there it is. And that's where it would go, and then I would measure the amps right there. Okay, and that's how you draw a circuit with the circuitlab.com, and then you would have to copy it from here and paste it into the lab report. Okay, and now I'm going to draw a parallel circuit with resistors, so I'm going to take the lamps out. Here we go, and the resistors are, oh, I think I just saw it, but nope, that's not it. Let's see, there they are. Okay, so put one here, already have an ammeter there, put one there, put one there, and I guess I said I would use four resistors, so one more, and then I connect lead here and there, and if I wanted to switch, oh, I have to connect up here, if I wanted to switch my ammeter, I'll do it like this, there we go, and if I wanted to switch these here, whatever values I have, I think 220, 270. They don't need to be in that order. The circuit would work either way, this parallel circuit or a series circuit, no matter what order you put them in, but I might as well put them in the correct order because then it's easier to keep track of all the values. And 